of Biotechnica. Welcome back again to a wonderful video for all of you. So this video is all about how to join a food tech industry after MSc in Life Sciences. We used to have a lot of questions from the viewers like only a food science candidate or food tech candidate can enter into a food tech industry or food science industry. Uh, so I'm studying microbiology or if you're studying biotechnology, you might be having uh, this thought in your mind whether I can enter into a food tech industry or not. So today I'll be talking talking about how to join a food tech industry after your MSc in life sciences in any of the field, whether you might be in your microbiology or biochemistry or whatever you belong to, whether it is possible to enter into food tech industry. Let's talk about it. This is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. So first let's talk about can MSc life science candidates enter food tech industry? I'm going to tell you yes. And who can actually actually go in for this food tech industry how you can join a food tech industry or food science industry if you're belonging to MSc in biotechnology if you have completed or you are pursuing then definitely you can go for it MSc microbiology biochemistry nutrition pharmaceutical science and any streams of life sciences you can actually go and work in a food tech industry it's not only restricted only to a food science candidate that's going to be the the biggest answer which most of you are asking about the second important point I'm going to talk about is as we already know how this food tech industry or the food science industry is growing gradually and why there is a growing demand for all this food science and food technology professionals. Yes, you can literally see according to the survey I'm going to talk about. So there's a demand of food tech or food science candidates or the professionals very specifically because the future of the food tech industry or the food technology if you're going to see it's going to see you can literally see it over here the food industry is worth more than one trillion dollars in the u.s gross domestic product according to the department of agriculture in the u.s they are telling it which means it's going to be the transforming the global food sectors so this food tech is definitely going to be uh, the future of the coming scenarios we can say and what does this food technology is impacting globally we can say so the global food tech market was around you can see 220 US dollar billions in 2019 according to Emerson's research but if you're going to talk in case of 2027 uh, whether this food tech is going to grow or not definitely you can see there's a gradual increase which is almost 342 US uh, dollars there's going to be a greater increase which means this is definitely going to be a wonderful field and there is a lot of impact of food tech in genetically modified organisms drones, meat industries, crop monitoring, 3D food printers and there are many many more. Definitely so food science and food technology professionals are going to be a greater demand in the upcoming uh, years or in the future days we can say. But if the question arises for us is I have not studied food science or food technology then how I can enter into this market that's what I'm going to talk about. Before going we'll talk about what is the food industry scope in India that's the global scenario so India holds the sixth largest food and grocery market in the entire world with almost 70 percentage of retail sales which means definitely food everybody knows it's going to be a greater demand and here what are the roles that you can enter if you are from MSc in life sciences you can actually enter into R&D departments you can enter into QA QC position in food tech industries it can be in a company or it can be in a laboratory or you can go in for many government organizations that I'll be talking about so as a MSc in life science students you can enter food tech department also or food tech industry also it's not only that only food science candidates can go in for so R&D department you can definitely enter How, what, but what you need to have you need to have a knowledge of good manufacturing practices so you, you can ask me a question like how can I get this experiences you can get this through certification programs that I'll also be talking about and you need to know about FSS AI WNM requirements PCRO requirements everything so this is this comes through the certification that you're going to do if you're from MSc in microbiology or biotechnology or biochemistry or whatever life science fields you may be belonging to but the most important thing is you need to have a knowledge in food science or food technology that you can get through a diploma courses or certificate courses or you can get through an internship opportunity so if you wanted to go in for food tech industry 
it is not necessary that you have to have your food tech degree it is okay that you have your msc in life sciences but you need to be specialized in certain courses like you should go in for certification courses also or you can become enter into quality assurance department or you can become a quality control officer suppose if you very specifically wanted to become a food scientist in a food tech industry that also you can go in for even msc in life science students can actually enter into this field okay the next important thing is what are the diplomas and certification it's very very important food science and food technology candidates will also require the certificates very specifically since you are or from msc in life sciences you would not be having an experience so for that sake you need to take up some diploma and certification so that you can easily enter into food tech industry the first is diploma so there are a lot of diplomas which is available everywhere so i have listed two of the diploma courses food science and technology it's always good enough to take diploma in food science and technology it's not only food science but also you have food technology if anybody wants to go in for beverages like then you can take up a certification of food and beverages there is also going to be quality checking or diplomas you can go in for in case of food and this is the website i have given for all of you to go and check in for uh, so this is igmpiindia.org you can go to this so this is a diploma in food science and technology very specifically which is very very good enough that you're going to take up this diploma through this one which is igmpi which is faculty of food safety and quality through government of india so it's very valid enough that you're going to take up this diploma it's really good enough so you can check onto this website if anybody wants to go in for diploma courses if you are from msc in microbiology or msc in biotechnology any life sciences you can go in for the next important thing i'm going to talk about is certified food scientist if anybody wanted to become a food scientist but you have studied only msc in life sciences but you have not had any food uh, science degree or food technology degree in such cases what do you have to do so i'm going to talk about something called a certified food scientist if if you want to become a food scientist or a food analyst you need to be a certified person so so that you can work the entire globe so this is a certified food scientist which we call it cfs so you can see this page which is offered by IFT this is accepted globally so you can go to this website you will find this where you will be talking about the certified food scientists who can work the entire globe so it's very important for a food science candidates also if anybody from msc in life sciences wanted to enter into food science then definitely they need to go in for but how this actually works and what are the eligibility so you need to have a fundamental science knowledge of course msc in life sciences has it and you need to have a little bit of experience in food science department so what you can do is you can go and work in r and d department like if you have one year of experience in any of the uh, if you go in for cftri and work as a research assistant or a project assistant if you're going to have a little bit of experience then you can join any of the companies which really talks about or works on the food department and if you're going to have this experience and knowledge then you have to go in for examination which will be conducted if you're going to clear this examination then you will be called a certified food scientist if you're going to become a certified food scientist then you can work the entire globe as a food scientist also in any government private public sectors you can go in for so this is the website you can go in for so ift.org which is accepted globally very well known one so you can literally go in for this one the next important one i'm going to talk about is a certification courses this is for short term duration i'm talking the next one is so you can uh, see this website this is igmpindia.org so the previous case that we have seen they are only offering this is from government of india only the faculty of food safety and quality so this is a certification courses very specifically a short term course for you so you can literally go in for this course which will be a great help for all of you the next is if anybody wanted to become a food quality manager then you you can go and apply for this one this is also from the same one igmpi faculty of food safety and quality so you can become a certified food quality manager so you will be having these things like you if you're belonging to any of these categories then you can apply for this one you can become a certified quality safety uh, supervisor or a manager 
So BSc in Microbiology, Life Science, Botany, Food Science, Pharma, MBBS, anything. And this course is for only five days. It's for only five days where you'll be learning many different things about um, how this uh, food technology works, what are the manufacturing pr practices in India. And this certificate will be valid even for uh, two years, which means you can become a certified food quality manager in India. This is very specifically in India. The next one is food safety supervisor through FSS AI. Yes, as we already know, uh, FSS AI and FCI usually offers a lot of certification programs and internship opportunities. So if you are MSc in life sciences, then definitely you can take up any of the internship. So if you want to go and check in for this food safety supervisor, you can go to this website and you can check and this is how the process goes so you'll be registering as a trainee which is available online for all of you it's a trained food safety supervisor and after logging in you will be enrolled for the course which is four stack fss ai course and after you attend the four stack training then you have to submit the assessment and the feedback form and finally you will be downloading your food safety supervisor certificate which will be valid for you to enter into any food tech industries so this is a wonderful opportunity if you wanted to go in for the next is fci fci usually calls for a lot of uh, internship opportunities certifications and diploma where you can go to this website fci.government.in you can go to this website and actually look in for the opportunity so if anybody wanted uh, to go in for food tech industry very specifically then you need to have an experience in food science so you can go and work as a normal research assistant or research uh, associate uh, or principal uh, assistant or anything or project assistants or anything in a company or in a laboratories where they deal with food science or food technology and then you can take up a diploma certificate or internship program from any of these things and you can become a certified food analyst or food tech engineer or whatever it is next is what are the job opportunities that are available for msc in life science candidate with certification and diploma so in food tech industry so that these are the top recruiters they used to hire not only food tech candidates but also msc in life sciences with little bit of experience and diploma and certification britannia industries nestle itc amul agro hindustan cadbury and milk food and there are many many uh, organization which use Usually recruits. This is for MSc in Life Sciences candidates they used to recruit. And these are some of the job opportunities in Government of India, if you're going to see. So as I already mentioned, FCI actually conducts a lot of internships. So you can also join FCI. If you're going to clear gate examination, you can join FCI. And FSS AI, anybody can write this examination to become a food inspector. We have a separate video on how to become a food inspector. What are the examinations that you have to go in for JAE, FAE examinations. And after clearing that examination, you can literally enter into FSS AI as a food inspector. Next bureau of indian standards it's also a government opportunity where you can go for and ministry of agriculture ministry of health and family welfare ministry of food processing industry you can go in for and these are some of the organizations like bark mayfield and epita mpeda all this thing and you can also go in for agricultural department icar you can go in for and state and central food laboratories you can go in for and state government food safety officer food inspector as i was telling you can also become and you can go as a professor or scientist in any of these organizations which are available in the government of India even after your MSc in life sciences with a little bit of experience in food science or food technology. The next is food inspector as I already told you you can become a food inspector uh, through FSS, AI, JAE exams and FAE exams and the next is FCI and the next is of course through UPSC you can become a food inspector in India or if anybody wanted to become a food scientist I, as I already told you you can apply for this examination and you can become a certified food scientist where you can go and work globally also and you can also call it as a research scientist. So this is about for MSc in life science candidates. So if you're thinking I have missed an opportunity to study uh, food science or food technology, but really I wanted to go in for food tech industry, uh, then this uh, video will definitely be going to be a great help. Just look onto the diplomas, the certificate and start working in a food tech companies where you can fetch a little bit of experience and then you can literally go in for the complete uh, career path in the food tech industry. So I believe that this video is helpful for all of you. So Thank you all of you for your time and I'm going to meet you back again with another video. Thank you all of you.